Welcome to Autel training video. It has become very difficult for Thai shops nowadays to keep up with the seizing variety of OEM sensors, and even impossible to stock the incredible number of OEM sensors that would be required to cover the market. In addition, the original TPMS sensors with sealed battery generally last for 6 to 8 years. With the large scale of sensors in use for 6 years now, the first wave of battery failures is starting to appear. That means an enormous number of sensors will have to be replaced in the next few years. Autel's Maxi TPMS Smart Tool Series come just in time to quite literally save all troubles. The Maxi TPMS system consists of the programmable MX sensors that cover both 315 MHz and 433 MHz radio bands. A professional OBD2 TPMS diagnostic scan tool able to relearn vehicle ECUs and program the MX sensors, plus a convenient programming accessory device to perform fast sensor testing and cloning. In short, it covers all that is needed to deliver comprehensive TPMS services. The Maxi TPMS series is aimed at simplifying TPMS services to help you solve problems more easily and efficiently and enhance your profitability. There are three basic procedures for solving most of the daily TPMS repair scenarios you may encounter. Activating TPM sensors. Cloning a set of TPM sensors. Creating a new set of TPM sensors. Now we're going to show you how the Maxi TPMS tools interface with each other to complete these procedures quickly and easily. When the TPMS warning light is on, it may indicate low tire pressure or broken sensor. In order to solve the problem and turn off the warning light, let's start from the first procedure to activate the TPM sensors using the TS601 scan tool. Power up your TS601 and select TPMS from the main menu. Select the make, model and year to enter the sensor activation screen. Take a walk around the car to each tire and point the tool at both them, then press the trigger button. If the sensors are good and reading is successful, the sensor information will be displayed on screen. In this case, the TPMS light is probably caused by low tire pressure. Check the test result on your tool to find out the tire with low pressure value. Inflate the tire and the problem is solved. If the sensor is bad and reading has failed, this may indicate that the sensor is broken either mechanically or electronically. In this case, you need to replace the sensor by cloning one with the original sensor ID or simply create a new one with a generated sensor ID. There are three ways to clone a set of TPM sensors using the TS601 scan tool and an MX sensor. With the first method, use your TX601 tool to activate the broken OE sensor directly to retrieve the sensor ID and then program to the MX sensor. The second method can be used when the original sensor is not transmitting anymore. In this case, connect the TS601 tool to the vehicle through the OBD2 cable and retrieve the sensor ID from the car system. Unplug the TS601 from the car when learning is successful. Insert the MX sensor and program the copied ID to the sensor to finish cloning. The third method is to manually input the original sensor ID to the TS601 tool and then program it to the MX sensor. Since the new sensors are programmed with the same original sensor IDs and installed in the same position, no TPMS relearn procedure is needed after replacement. When the original sensors are electronically broken that reading has failed, all the sensors are simply missing with no reading. You can always use the TS601 scan tool to create a new set of TPM sensors. To create a new set of TPM sensors, 
Enter the TBMS function from main menu on TX601. Select a specific vehicle make, model, and year following the menu navigation. Operate the Auto Create procedure to generate a new set of random sensor IDs. Insert the MX sensors to the slot on TX601 tool. And proceed to program the sensors with new IDs. Since the sensors are programmed with new unique IDs, you need to perform a TPMS relearn on the card so it can recognize the new installed sensors. For busy shops where fast and volume production of copied or programmed sensors are greatly needed, the sensor programming accessory device makes the TPMS pad is the ideal solution for a fast growing business. It is a simple tool with an extremely easy to use PC program interface that performs sensor activation, copying, and programming in just three steps. Load the software on the PC. Connect the pad to the PC. Program MX sensor. Thank you for watching. If you have any question or suggestion about our products, please visit our website or simply call us.